Hello friends. Today I want to talk about something truly timeless, something that connects minds across centuries, the legacy of science. There was once a time when truth was dangerous. Just whispering that the earth revolved around the sun could cost you your life. The world wasn't ready for science. It lived in fear. Copernicus knew the truth, but he was afraid to speak it aloud because in his time knowledge wasn't power. It was risk. Then came Galileo. He didn't whisper, he roared. Through his telescope he saw moons dancing around Jupiter, defying the ancient beliefs that had ruled for centuries. But even he, bold as he was, was forced to kneel, forced to deny what his own eyes had seen. And then, in a quieter world, a man named Isaac Newton watched an apple fall, but unlike others, he didn't just accept it. He asked, "Why?" From that single question, he defined gravity. He turned mystery into mathematics. He gave humanity a new way to understand the cosmos. Yet even Newton, with all his genius, couldn't answer what gravity truly was. He explained the how, but not the why. Centuries later, another voice emerged: Albert Einstein. He didn't just see the universe moving; he saw it bending. To him, gravity wasn't a force at all. It was the warping of space and time. Objects weren't being pulled; they were simply following curves in the fabric of existence. Einstein didn't replace Newton. He completed him. He answered the very question Newton left behind: because science isn't a ladder to climb; it's a relay race. Each mind handing the torch to the next. From Copernicus to Galileo, Newton to Einstein, the light has kept moving forward. And the true hero of this journey. It's not the answer; it's the question, because every answer leads to another mystery. That's how wonder survives. We don't walk in the shadows of giants; we stand on their shoulders, and because of that, we see farther. We dream bigger, and we dare to ask bolder questions.